if we want to design and implement the GRU model with TensorFlow or Keras. In the previous experiment, we have seen how we have used IMDB uh, model to uh, perform sentiment analysis on movie uh, reviews, based on movie reviews. The same, we are going to check with uh, respect to now GRU model. Earlier, we have implemented it using LSTM model. Now, we are going to see what changes does the GRU model is going to bring in. So, uh, again, I'm not going to explain you about the data set and its pre-processing part because I've already explained you in my previous video. Please go through that. So, I'm going to keep the same max review length of 250 and I'm going to keep the same embedding vector length as 32. And my strategy would be same of choosing different activation functions of Relu sigmoid or Tanex sigmoid, etc. and different optimizers like SGD and Adam. And I'm going to test for its accuracy. So, uh, the code also remains the same except in the place of LSTM, you are going to use a GRU. I've already explained everything in my previous video. Go check out the previous video of the lab and you can get entire explanation there. And uh, as you can see, once we implement this particular model, uh, again, I'm getting a validation ex uh, accuracy of 86 and um, training accuracy of 94 when I'm using ReLU and Sigmoid. And when I check it with Tanex Sigmoid, uh, it has got 87 of my validation and uh, accuracy of 93. So when you compare these results with LSTM, I could see the performance is a bit increased in GRU. So depending on the application, you can select whether you want to go for LSTM and GRU or implement both of them and check for yourself in what way are they both going to help you out based on how much is your validation and uh, training accuracy. So, uh, with this, I think uh, you should know how LSTM and GRU, how they are different from each other and where they can be used.